It's Mitch at iPhoneCaptain.com. Today we're going to be sharing some of the iOS 8 tweaks that have been updated. Some have just been released. So let's get started. The first one is called Reach All. This adds the reachability feature that comes pre-installed with the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. And all you have to do is install Reach All. And then you're going to sign your activator. Mine's triple press. And you see my screen drops down. Now you can customize how far that drops down. You know, if you want it to only drop down just a little bit. And that can be configured under the settings menu. The next one is called Cylinder. This has been around a while, but it was updated for iOS 8. So I wanted to sh show you what it would that it would work and you can use it on iOS 8 devices of any kind. And all you have to do if you want to change the effects is go in here and choose whichever effect you want and there's hundreds to choose from and it's called cylinder next one is zeppelin this is another old tweak this allows you to add a icon in the status bar up there beside of the Wi-Fi icon you see I currently don't have a icon up there but I just added one now you see the little Android guy and it comes with several pre-installed my favorite of the Zeppelin pre-installs is a Superman. So we'll leave it with that and continue on. The next one we're going to look at is called No Ad Store Open. And how many times have you been in Cydia and been kicked out to the store, uh, the app store, when you really didn't want to be there? And all you need to do to eliminate that is just install this tweak called no ad store and then you will be off and running without having to worry about getting kicked out anymore it's called no ad store right here it is it's in the big boss repo and the next one we're looking at is called prefs delete this allows you to go into your settings here and long hold on any of your tweaks and you get a pop-up that asks you if you want to uninstall it just allows you to uninstall your tweaks much faster without having to go through all that long process as we're all used to the next one is called hide me 8 light this is the light version however don't let that fool you this is the uh, Apple configuration tool I think it is that they use whenever they're developing and, and adding animations going to configuration here you can change things in the control center lock screen notification center any of this is configurable and what I did is I actually removed or just turned off the uh, quick launch section of the control center something I really just didn't ever use so I use this to 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 uh, for a good example to show you how to use this. It's called No Hide Eight, and it's a very awesome tool. I'm sorry, it's called Hide Me Eight Light. Now the next one we're looking at is called Force Reach, and what this does is it works in conjunction with Reach All or Reachability to allow you to reach. Uh, things on your screen much easier and it's intended more for the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus so keep that in mind I just wanted to share that with you as well as force good fit this is for the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus users that are using applications that haven't been updated yet for the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus screen size so you can install force good fit and it will make your your applications look like they have been updated and much better next is called detailed battery usage and this tells you just exactly how your battery is being spent and how much on each app and so forth and to take a look at where this what all this does you just simply need to go into general usage battery usage and we'll take a look at all this right now you need to go general usage battery usage and you'll see we'll get a graph up here at the top as well as a list of apps 
underneath the battery usage here for the last 24 hours as well as last six days and you can see city is the number one app i've been using uh, uh with home and lock screen coming in number two mail number three right on down the line and here you can see the battery level so on and so forth very awesome way to stay up to date on your battery percentage and what i was going on with it next one we're looking at is called pull to respring and this is just adds a much faster way to respring in ios 8 as well as ios 7 and all you have to do is simply just go into your settings app and pull down and release and it will respring your device simply just go in here and pull down and release and it will respring just that fast next up is called better five icon dock as you all well know we've always had the better icon dock but this one here i'm sorry five icon dock but this is going to allow you to have a much better icon dock and you'll see what i mean you can even put it into the landscape position and it will even turn into the landscape position for you which makes it very very usable please keep in mind that this doesn't require anything to configure or any settings like that installed you just install it and use it and it also adds seven icons to the dock on the ipad which is just awesome guys definitely check it out better five icon dock lux is next it allows you to change the setting of your uh, brightness color it sort of can change the color from a candle to a fluorescent halogen i mean and it, and it can be set up based on the time of day and you have to go in through the application logo here see flux on my screen you have to go in through the app to set up the uh time if you want to set it up based on time of day but if you just want to set it to be whatever a different you know you can base it on night and day here like i just said a candle color a uh, halogen color fluorescent that's nighttime daytime and midday normal and it's a pretty awesome little app guys the next one we're looking at here is called classic dock this takes the ios 6 theme and puts it in ios 8 and you can got you have a few settings you can change in here we'll go into classic dock and you can see you have a mode here classic 6.x style or modern blurred with 6.x so right here's what i like you can actually uh have your icons bounce on launch and for some reason it didn't there it is and you see that it'll bounce i really like that I got a lot of compliments on that when I was using it earlier, uh, back a few months back. That's called Classic Dock. Another dock tweak is called Dock Shift. And this is it right here. So we'll disable Classic Dock and enable Dock Shift. And this is another uh, theme type you can use. You got several different themes to choose from in here. Uh, some uh, size alterations if you want to change some sizes of your icons or things like that and you got if you want to hide your page dots if you want to shift page dots down whenever the page moves so we can turn that on so now let's go in here and I'm going to pull down to respring and when it comes back up we'll see what dock shift looks like can see it has changed our dock we no longer have that three-dimensional look and as we swipe through here you can see it looks really nice um, but like I said there are some customizations I really like that little bounce you get when you first open an application if you want to enable that I showed you how you can do that the next one we're going to look at is called Blord, B-L-O-A-R-D. All this does is it makes your keyboard black when you're going in here and pulling up your keyboard. See, now it's black and it looks really nice. I think it just overall looks really cool. That's called Blord, B-L-O-A-R-D. The next one is called Save Gram. 
Now, if you're a big Instagram user, you're going to really enjoy this one because what it does is it allows you to save your photos. And right here, it adds a simple save option. When selecting a post, after tapping save, you'll find the picture or video you choose in your camera roll. All right, so if you go into Instagram, all right, here it is. So now we can choose save, and now we should have this in our camera roll. So now we're going to go to the photos here and open it up. We should have a picture of a horse in there. So that's how it works. You just choose the little dots down there at the bottom. Choose the little dots and then choose save. And now we're going to come back out and go in here and choose photo. And there it is. All right. That's called save gram. And it's called swipe selection. And you can get this one in Big Boss Repo too. And I have already copied in some text into my notes app here. And you can see if we go to the end of it and choose now to back up and say correct the keyboard here that's uh, underlined the word keyboards so i'm going to go back and i'm going to swipe until i get to the back see how i can swipe to the left over the keyboard and now i can position it right there right where i need it without having to hold down on the keyboard like so and then do that this way you can just use gestures to swipe left and right. Makes it much easier. It's called swipe selection. It's called no slow animations. And this will increase your animations on iOS 7 and 8. Just overall, any animation that you have, it will make it faster. Opening apps, closing apps, anything like that. It just makes it appear like your device is running much faster. Even when you're slide to unlock, things like that, makes just makes it look faster. The next one is called Status HUD 2. And what this does is when you turn your volume up and down, it actually appears in your status bar. So it goes Status HUD. Thank you for downloading so, so we don't want to donate. And you can change from circle to square. I'm going to use circle. I'm going to leave it on the normal size. And you'll see when I increase and decrease the volume, it is a bit hard to see like that. So let's look at it in here. Now it's, it's easier to see. I think that looks much better than the heads up display that Apple sent with it. Very, very look, looks very nice. The next one we're going to look at is called Eye Cleaner. And what this does is it just allows you a way to clean up your device and it puts an application on your device right here on the springboard the one that has the little broom on the application here so we'll open it up and it just lets you clean up anything in here it says uh, iCleaner 7.2 it does not officially support 8.1 but for the most part I think it's already been been used here and you go up here to the top you can choose to analyze and then you can choose to clean and it'll just clean your browser cache your history uh, just a lot of different under the hood uh, things that you don't really need it'll clean up to make your device run much smoother and faster so it's definitely a, a application that's worth installing and it's called iCleaner and as you can see here it's cleaning up my device and when it comes back up everything will be good to go i mean there's not really uh anything you have to do other than just tap analyze or clean and i apologize for my battery being low but it's gone down as i've been doing this video it's a longer video and this is called eye cleaner and we're not interested in the log so as you can see here you can choose to clean the files inside Cydia, uh, cache files, temporary files, all this stuff you can choose, you know, whether you want to uh, clean up your message attachments. It's just going to be however you need to do it. And right here you got a test mode, you got back you can restore from backup files and you can choose some activator plugins, flip switch. You can use it actually down here if you wanted to, to enable it, but we don't have it set up to do that.
next week is called blue board now earlier we show, showed you how you can get your keyboard to look black personally i think this theme looks much better and it's a, it's a tweak called blue board and it is free and as you can see the uh, buttons just look really nice so be sure and check it out it's called blue board and i'm going to show you a couple more before we go uh, the first one i'm going to share with you here is called bit of font 2 this will allow you to change the actual font on any of your uh, springboard icons anything like that in your settings you can change the font in the settings app just anywhere imaginable you can download hundreds and hundreds of different kinds of fonts to choose to go inside of bit of font too last but not least this is not free but i do want to include it because it's just a favorite among everybody it has been updated to ios 8 it's 299 in the big boss repo and it's barrel everybody loves barrel if you remember all those cool animations but cylinder does a lot more and it's free so we just it's going to, it's going to come down to personal preference guys i know it's a longer video please hit that thumbs up i work very hard for you share this video on facebook it helps me so much when you share it on facebook and twitter subscribe if you aren't a subscriber we do this kind of stuff all the time here and keep coming back